The body of Stacy Stites was recovered off a dirt road in a wooded area, just wearing blue jeans and a bra. And she was recovered with ligature marks around her neck. Near Stacy's body was two beer cans, a white shirt, and a broken belt that appeared to be cut in half that was found on the dirt road. At the time of her death, Stacy was living with her boyfriend, Jimmy Fennell. Prosecutors claimed that at 2.45 a.m., Stacy took Jimmy's truck to drive to the HEB grocery store for work. Prosecutors believe that sometime during Stacy's drive to work, she encountered Rodney Reed on foot, and somehow Rodney made his way inside that vehicle. They say at that time, Rodney took Stacy to a wooded area where he raped her and strangled her with the leather belt. Prosecutors claim that Rodney took the truck to a local high school and abandoned it, accidentally leaving the second half of the leather belt outside the truck. The only evidence to link Rodney to Stacy's murder are three sperm cells found inside of her. Rodney Reed is in jail, scheduled to die November 20th for Stacy's murder. Well, Rodney, now 52 years old, has spent 22 and a half years locked in a 60 square foot cell on death row for a crime he says he did not commit. But the clock is ticking for Rodney. He is scheduled to be executed in just 41 days. Rodney Reed was scheduled to be put to death in March of 2015, but the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals halted his execution less than two weeks before it was planned. His execution was put on hold temporarily because the court decided to allow new evidence from his attorneys. New witnesses had come forward. The time of Stacy's death came into question and there were requests for more DNA testing. Innocence Project attorney and lawyer for Reed, Bryce Benjet, believes the key to Reed's future is hidden in evidence from the past. When they rip clothing, when they hold a belt with such force to strangle somebody, that that leaves DNA. DNA that couldn't be discovered back in 1998. After nine appeals and a delayed execution, state prosecutors are now asking to execute convicted murderer Rodney Reed by the end of this year. So why do top medical examiners, law enforcement officers, and even the Innocence Project believe that Texas is about to execute an innocent man? Well, I wanted to find out for myself. Now, this was a first for me. I was allowed inside death row, where I was given one hour to hear why Rodney says they've got the wrong man, and why he says he should be given a new trial to prove to the world he's not a murderer. How are you? Good to meet you. Hello, Mr. Phil. Well, Rodney, out of respect for your time and the need to get the message out, I'm going to just kind of jump right into things. Did you rape Stacy Stites? No, I didn't. Did you murder Stacy Stites? No, I didn't. Were you present when it happened? Absolutely not. Well, we'll see more of my interview with Rodney throughout the hour. But first, retired NYPD Detective Sergeant Kevin Gannon and victimologist Dr. Lee Gilbertson are here to tell us why they believe the state's theory is wrong. Now, they are joining us with Rodney's attorney, Bryce Benjet, of the Innocence Project. So, gentlemen, thank you all for being here. Um, now, you guys know that I went to Texas and interviewed this man, and I went in with a completely open mind. I, I, of course, read everything about the case, studied it, but I've spent a lot of my career focused on deception detection. And I wanted to look him in the eye, I wanted to ask questions, I wanted to hear what he said, and read him at the time, and I did, and I'm gonna talk about that uh, as we go along.